before higher ground, like my life was so different. I kept on running away with these anger issues, and I threw stuff. I hit people. Like everyone was trying to calm me down, but no one managed to complete it. Without higher ground. And with my anger issues, I think I'll kill someone and I'll be somewhere where I shouldn't be. I'm Francisco Cuevas. Um, I joined Higher Ground in seventh grade. Before I joined, I was like really you know, kind of fat. But after I joined Mr. Jensen, he taught me, taught me some breathing techniques. Taught me to pace myself and control my asthma because I couldn't control my asthma. And then once I did that, after a while, I started getting faster at my runs, my mile runs. Now a big guy like me, I can run six mile run, runs. And then that's really six minute mile runs. I'm sorry. And yeah, I'm pretty good now. I'm in football. Um, since I've been in, in high ground boxing, I've been undefeated. No one's been able to get me. When I first came to high ground, I was kind of shy. I didn't like talk to anybody because I didn't know anybody. And then once I started like hanging out with everybody, everybody started being my friend. And then now when I walk in, everybody's yelling my name, Cisco. When I'm at higher ground, I feel like I'm at home. Like I can do my homework, I can laugh with some friends, all that good stuff. It's my brother, my sister, my mom, and me. So, us three, my mom. And it's been like that since I was little. And my dad was in and out of jail a lot. So we did not have connections with him. And once we saw him, it was a couple days for a while. And then just stops. We get no calls. And after a while, we just stopped. Well, I stopped caring. And it just became part of my old life and he was not in the picture. I had a lot of trust issues with fathers, with, yeah, I did not understand what a father was. Higher Ground has helped me. Well, with my dad problem, I, Jansen, the director, I've seen him like a father figure. He was always there teaching us respect, caring, learning about us enough to care. He was there. He understood us. He tried to understand our problems. And he was always there to lend a hand whenever you needed it. So over the years, our, my trust built with him. And he's the only one that I feel proud and happy to call my dad. And I do. <laughs> Alright, I'm Francisco Hernandez. Um, I'm going back to high school um, because knowing ever since that I was a teenage parent, um, I fought through CPS. I made sure that my son is now with me. Um, I have now um, full parenting time with him as she has um, visitation rights. Um, but besides that, higher ground has been ever since. Um, even before Jensen even had higher ground, it was just me, Timothy, and Zach. We were doing a summer math program until it got bigger. And here we are now at Wakefield, and that's mine. The only perfect way to say how higher ground infected me in any way is that I actually basically see Jensen, Barbie, Pastor Eli, Miss Cheryl, everyone in church as family and at goals, infinity and beyond. I cannot say anything more. But as you can tell, I'm currently in jiu-jitsu, and two kids smaller than me just made me tap out maybe four to five more times. Yes, Jensen, said I am admitting it now. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jamel Williams. I'm a student attending the University of Arizona School of Architecture. Jensen's passion and his, his drive to serve the youth here in Tucson and throughout Arizona, Southern Arizona, has been very influential on my drive in school and my drive in life. And as far as, as motivation and hard work, Jansen and Barbie, they have it, they emulate it. And 
when I met them and seeing how hard that they work through countless hours and wee hours of the night, I seen something there really special and I, I seen that for my life. I seen that in order for me to become successful and in order for me to achieve my dreams and goals, I'm going to have to work hard like they have.